Pinky took a deep breath as she stood on the doorstep of Carousel Boutique. Well, here I go, Pinky said as she knocked. Rarity opened the door. Pinky, what are you doing here? Not that I mind having you over, of course, but I have some work I need to finish, Rarity said as Pinky walked in. Oh, I just need some advice, Rarity. But I could come back later, Pinky said. Nonsense, darling. I always have time for friends, Rarity assured her. As Pinky and Rarity sat down in the living room, Pinky was getting increasingly flustered just thinking about asking advice on what she was going to ask about. So, what did you need advice about, Pinky? Rarity questioned. Um, well, uh, I, um... Pinky stuttered out. She went to cover her face. Pinky, dear, whatever could be causing you of all ponies to be shy? Rarity asked Pinky. She finally muttered an answer. I, I have somebody I like. There's more than a friend, I mean. Rarity positively squealed. Ooh, romance! Oh, Pinky, what do you need to know about? She was dancing giddily in place. Pinky sighed. I don't know how to tell them. And I don't know the first thing about dating either. This was the one kind of relationship she was clueless in. She was a master at all other kinds. Well, I could help you, but you need to tell me who it is. Or at least describe them. Pinky sighed. She's shy and kind, a huge introvert. She likes the quiet, so I tried to tone it down around her. She absolutely adores animals. And she's so cute and her wings are the softest. Not that I've actually gotten to touch them, but I bet they're soft. And she has a long mane and tail that looks so silky soft and her coat looks so fluffy. And I love her, Rarity, and what should I do? Pinky finished, looking close to crying despite the dreamy gaze her eyes had. Rarity didn't know whether to gape in shock or laugh. F Fluttershy? The special somebody you like is Fluttershy? Rarity went to sit with her friend, giving her a hug as she talked. Y y yes and she probably doesn't like me like that at all. Pinky started sobbing hysterically. Shh, shh. It's fine, darling. I know the perfect thing, Rarity said. Y you do? Pinky asks Rarity shakily. Yes, I do, and here's what you're going to do, Rarity said as she started whispering her plan. For the second time that day, Pinky stood on a doorstep inside, though this time it was the doorstep to Fluttershy's cottage, and she had a slightly more understandable reason to be nervous. Okay, I can do this. I can do this, Pinky quietly said to herself. Pinky knocked on the door more gentle than she had on Rarity's door, so as not to scare the owner and hopefully soon to be date. Hello? Fluttershy asked quietly. Oh, Pinky, it's you. Come in. As Pinky walked in feeling very nervous, she said, Thanks, Fluttershy. I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for whatever I did. Fluttershy apologized. If you say so, Fluttershy said as they sat down on the couch together. W well, um, w what did you want to talk about? Fluttershy questioned her. Pinky was getting flustered. Fluttershy raised an eyebrow. Pinky was never nervous. What could she possibly want to talk about that was making her feel this way? I, 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 I like your romantic lay! Pinky shouted, startling the various animals who had been watching the conversation. R really? Fluttershy asked, surprised. Really? Pinky answered, and with trepidation, 
she asked her question. And I was wondering if you'd like me back. If you would want to go on a d date with m me. Fluttershy was also getting flustered. Well, I like you like that too. And if you want, I would love to go on a date with you. Pinky grinned. Hooray! I already have a date planned for today, if that's okay. Pinky asked Fluttershy. Y yeah, th that would be f fine. Fluttershy stuttered as Pinky's already wide grin widened. Great! Follow me! Pinky took Fluttershy's hoof and led her to the edge of the white tail woods, and as they went in toward a beautiful clearing with a lake, a meadow, and a waterfall connecting to some mountain. On a hill in the clearing near the lake was a checkered red and white picnic blanket. Pinky led Fluttershy over to it, saying, This is it! I made some of your favorite foods! And some of mine too, of course! I love it, Pinky, Fluttershy assured her. They walked over and had a wonderful time as they ate the delicious food, told jokes, and shared stories. So, are you having fun? Pinky shyly asked nervously. Yes, Pinky, I'm having a wonderful time, Fluttershy said. Pinky sighed in relief. Good, I was really nervous about the date. Usually, I'm the nervous one, Fluttershy softly chuckled. Pinky counted down in her head. Three, two, one! Suddenly, a swarm of absolutely beautiful blue and black butterflies started flying towards the meadow. Oh, Pinky, what's this? Fluttershy asked as a butterfly landed on her nose. Well, I know you love butterflies, and Rarity told me that these pretty butterflies like to come here around noon. Pinky told her as they laid down together. The butterflies landed on them as they held still, since both ponies were full of food, relaxed, and laying completely still, they fell asleep, snoozing in the warm noon sun on a comfy blanket with butterflies surrounding them as they cuddled in their sleep. Both ponies contented and having sweet dreams about each other.